Dear my Congolese ancestors, this is my love letter to you. I'm from the Democratic Republic of Congo, where I grew up watching my parents and aunts and uncles dance to Congolese Rumba, which is a vibrant dance that's celebrated throughout Africa. So I thought it would be an interesting thing to collaborate Congolese Rumba with Afro-Cuban music. Yeah. Um, I'm neither African nor Cuban, but I have a passion for the dance and for the music, and we both really were interested in doing um, something with Afro-Cuban influence. We've taken some of the time to learn about the history and realize that there's actually a very interesting connection between Afro-Cuban music and Congolese rumba specifically. Not just unidirectionally, but actually bidirectionally, both ways. Afro-Cuban music derives its roots, uh, many of its roots, from Western and Central African influences that were carried over through the slave trade to Cuba and mixed and hybridized with the Spanish influences that were um, you know, in control at the time. And as a result, the musical styles that emerged were very rich and traveled back to Europe and the, and the Congo. So Conjunto, specifically a group called El Septeto Habanero, um, worked their way back to the African radio waves. Yeah, so around that time, Congo was still colonized by Belgium and um, they would play Afro-Cuban music through the radio. And so Congolese people would hear this music and they felt a direct connection to it and then took it and hybridized it and formed this new um, genre, which they call Congolese rumba. And this not only helped form a national identity, but also served as a vehicle to fight for independence, um, which was later achieved in 1960. So we're excited to show you guys this dance piece. We hope you love it. Love, Daniela. Love, Lucas. Thank you. 